Hey, Zayden. Logan, you're back. Hey, Gage. Hey, Gabriel. What's up, Zayden? Hey, William. McLaren. Drew, welcome back. Hey, Cam Cam. Evening, Bill. Hey, Alan. What's up, Romeo? Hey, Alejandro. For those of you watching after the fact, this is the Secret Service Spinner giveaway result. This is not the giveaway to enter. However, there are eight minutes left in this giveaway, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so if you haven't signed up, you still have a shot. Yes, Bill, that is the Eagle Eye box. I have both the antiqued copper and the polished copper. They sent one of each. Can't believe I won. Thing. Gold dot. Gold dot, what did you win? Are you just being a trickster? How do you sign up? Simon, go to the Secret Service Spinner video, and then at, in the description there is a link to the sign-up sale. Click that and just enter your real name and email address. How many are giving away? Um, only one today. Whatever one you want, the blue or the black, I'll let the winner decide. Um, if you haven't seen, I did release the Spin Me review. That was my most recent review. There I'm giving away four of those, and there is a sign-up sale for that. Um, shortly after this live stream, I'm going to give away, um, or, yeah, do the review and give away a bunch of these guys. The This is the coupler, and the larger one here, the orange and back, that is the speed loader. And those are the names from Spinetic Spinners. I know other... Vendors sell them under different names, but that's what Spinetic uses. Shameless Coffee, I'm doing great. How's your guys' Friday night? Or morning, wherever you are in the world. Hi, Emmanuel. Nobody's won yet, JJ Unboxing. We are working on that. Are you allowed to enter more than once? Nope. It um, takes your IP, filters it out if people try to be tricky. And it also only allows one email address. Big baller. The, yeah, this review along with the speed loader, the, this one back here, that's going to be live. I've shot the video. I just have to edit it and throw it up on the channel. That'll be tonight. And that giveaway is for like seven. I think I'm giving away seven, uh, seven or eight. I can't remember. Simon, you need help. What do you need help with, buddy? Hey, Lumpy Carrot. Hey, Spider. Did you pick the winner already? Nope. The contest doesn't end till 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's in six minutes. So if you haven't entered, hop on over there. <laughs> Logan. Don't be so desperate. I will shout you out. Cheers. Just original. All right, I'm back. Sorry, guys. Should I buy the spinner? Um, yeah. Ninja John. What do you think, Ninja John? <laughs> Where are you doing the? When are you doing the giveaway? Doing the giveaway shortly after 9 p.m. I'll stick around and talk for a little bit, but I'd like to be a little more prompt with these giveaways. I know that can be kind of irritating. You hop on here to see who won, and you don't really care what I have to say. <laughs> so I understand that. So I'm going to try and be more prompt with the uh, the picking so that people can get on with their day, their night. Hey, Pollux. 
Wild Creeper Man, can you be my dad? Uh, depends on how creepy you are. Hey, Josh Bradley. LED fidget spinner. Uh, I have one that's being sent to me right now. Some company just approached me, and they have a new LED thing. I don't know if it's the Kickstarter one that I've seen or if it's a different company. But yeah, the LED one is coming. What is your favorite spinner? I get that a lot. I'm going to go with the Axis Micro. Doesn't matter what uh, metal. They're all pretty awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for caring. Is this the new... Oh, somebody's got a good eye. This is the Axis Divide prototype. This is just a 3D printed design. I am going to be covering that. But yeah, Alex over at Last Room Standing sent that to me to check out. He's my buddy. Not many people get this privilege, but yeah, this thing is going to be hot. You can head over to lastroomstanding.com and pre-order. I think they're around 100. You can get them with tritium slots. If it doesn't come with tritium, that's illegal in the United States. Um, but you can get them imported legally, which is what I did for the iFidget. But yeah, this thing is going to be a beast. Very fidgetable. Cool design. Comfy chamfers, just like the Axis Micro. But the focus is not going to work, apparently, today. But yeah, what's tritium? Tritium is a radioactive isotope that essentially just glows and glows and glows without the need of any external light to charge it. It does have a half-life of about 12 years, which means after 12 years, it'll be half as bright as when you get it. Contest ends in two minutes, guys. What did you do for the eye spin? What do you, I don't know what you mean, Nick. All right, focus on chat here for me. I get to talking and I forget chat's rolling. Sorry, guys. Review on the Pepiaka. I've spoken with Mikhail, the guy behind the Pepiaka, and he acted interested in a review and then didn't, so... Unless I buy one on the secondary market, which is pretty unlikely. Yeah, I think it's cool looking, but it's not something I want to drop, you know, four hundred dollars on. Face reveal at one million. Face reveal at ten k, which isn't going to be that long. I think we're up to like nine nine thousand four hundred. Hey, Christian Scott, what's up? Point zero 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 eight percent chance of winning. That's not good math, Jay. Juices crust. Um, there are actually only 732 entries in this one, so your chances are 1 in 732. So that's like a seventh of a percent, right? Substance 100. Ninja John, you've been around since the metal detecting days? <laughs> that's crazy. Since in the normal okay. I don't know what that means, Gabriel. What about the pie spinner? You wanna see the pie? Wanna see some sweet potato pie? There she is. She's still around. It's very unique. I like to spin it. Looks very alien to me. I like it. How good is the Spinergy Spinner? A lot of fun. I still have a couple of them floating around here somewhere. Very comfy. Still can't join Simon. What? Simon? Kai? That's no fun. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, Simon. All right. All right, Simon, I got you, buddy. You're in. Malone, you are late. You are usually Johnny on the spot. It's all right. Still love you. No one won the giveaway. 
It ends in 36 seconds. Oh, wait. Ended at 36 seconds ago. Oh, we are late. All right. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw this up and then stick around and chat about spinners, chat about life, whatever. I got some time. I like to hang out. So here we go. Let's pan this up without the thing falling apart here. Okay. Here we are about to draw. Are you ready for this? Done. Winners drawn. One winner. Publish the results. Here we go. I'm so nervous. All right. Winners published. You could go look at the website yourself, but I will scroll down and let you know. Congratulations, Christian Rodriguez. Entry number 146. Entered two days ago. Congratulations. If you're in the stream, shout out. Sorry for those who did not win, but like I said, in the next three days, there will be four plus eight, 12 spinners given away. Four of the spin me coppers. These things are beasts. If you're going to get a copper spinner from Amazon, a try, go with this. So much better quality. I've gotten... You may have seen my review on some of the other coppers. And they're nice. I liked them. But just the bearing on the Spin Me, way better. R188. And it just spins for a lot longer. So if you're going to get one on Amazon, go with the Spin Me. Giving away four of those. Giving away eight. Eight of these. I think four of this style. And then four of this style. And yeah, these are ABS plastic, but man... My review's going to show that they spin for over five minutes. They've got this cool spin effect with those stainless steel balls, or steel balls, I'm not sure if they're stainless. R188 bearing. These are solid for a budget spinner, really. Screw your life. Sorry, Angel. Wow, we lost half the people after that. Phew. Oh! Should I buy the pie? I would. Especially the new version of the pie that just came out. I think it's more brushed on the arms than shiny. That's just my guess. You'd have to talk to Josh about that for sure. But I know that's what the plan was. Zach, you're here to talk. Let's talk. How's your life? Chevy Ball. You have what? You have the pie? Or do you have the other one? One of the new Triton colors. Somebody told me they're selling the Blue Triton on VC's site, but I haven't looked yet. Dude who won. Christian Rodriguez. Congrats, Christian. I haven't seen your name in chat. Hopefully you'll respond to the email. So far, I've been pretty lucky, and every winner that I've had has been able to respond. One guy was almost late to the Fidget LA um, giveaway where you went to the, you were able to go to the site and pick it out yourself. One guy almost missed out, but came in at the last second, so that was cool. Did you select winners? Uh, Random.org selected the winner, and that winner was Christian Rodriguez for the Secret Service Spinner. Mm <laughs> yeah, you're a little late, King, but no big deal. Christian Rodriguez won. Uh, we're just talking about the other spinner giveaways that I've got coming up. There is one active, the Spin Me giveaway. Check out that review on my channel, and then go to the sign-up sale link, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hey, Malone. Rigged, Gabriel. Rigged. I hacked random.org, and then I hacked North Korea. Can you do an executive spinner? Executive, what's that? That sounds familiar. Desmond, I hope you win soon. You're always here. Yeah, let's chat, Christian. Let's do it up. Where can you buy? I don't know what you're talking about, what you want to buy. If you're talking about the Secret Service Spinner, you can get this from SpinnerCraft.com. That's who sent it to me. There may be other vendors out there selling the same thing. Who knows? <laughs> but SpinnerCraft sent it to me, so that's who... Uh, I'm going to direct people to go to. 
Research is your friend. <clears throat> anyway. Why is it so small? It's, it's small so that you can, uh, you know, I call it a stealth spinner in my review. You can hide it easily. It's silent. You can spin it. You know, if you're in class and you don't want to get in trouble for making loud noises or drawing attention to your spinner, like what happens in my wife's classroom all the time. <laughs> you wanted it. Well, well. Thanks, guys. Waiting 25 days. Hey, can I get the Rainbow Mini instead of the Silver one? The Rainbow Mini, unfortunately, has been spoken for, but he hasn't come to pick it up yet. It's a local guy that, uh, it wasn't part of the giveaway. Nobody selected that one. But, uh, yeah, it was left over, and I promised it to him. He just has to come this way and get it. You recommend spinners from Infinite Spin? Infinite Spin? I don't know much about Infinite Spin. I know the name. I haven't really looked into them. Thanks, RK Games. Try spinner to arm. Try spinner, Gabriel. Try spinners for life. Unless it's a stubby. Stubby's a solid bar spinner. Do my... I don't have a sexy voice. Malone, you get like 30 shouts out... Shout outs per stream, I think. Hey, Harville. Love you, Gabriel. JJ Leopard. Yes, you can have a shout out, buddy. Alejandro. Thanks, Desmond. I, I do love giveaways. I love giving back. You guys have given me so much with, you know, the views and the subscribing and all the support. It just feels right to give back. I hope I get big enough to where I can just buy a truckload of spinners and just start dumping them to everybody. Especially all the regulars. Top three longest spin time. Well, if you follow the channel, you know the Triton V2 prototype here is the king of the hill at 16 minutes. Other than that, my copper stubby gets around 12. My uh, the Valkyrie does a good job. That got close to 10, I think. Nine and some change, maybe. The spin me surprised me, getting nine. So yeah, I mean, anything that's got some decent weight and has the R188 bearing, you're going to get some decent times. Bet you look like Brad Pitt. Nope. Malone, have I visited? You know, I've got a list of people that I'm going to check out your channels from last night's stream. Sorry about last night's stream. We kind of have battery, battery issues. We died. And... I wrapped things up and pretty much went to bed. We lost power shortly after that too. So, um, yeah, I didn't get to do much, but I'm going to take care of business tonight. Hey, Mac. Thanks for, thanks for the compliments. Lumpy Garrett. One of your old ins. <laughs> THS, yes, I know what you're talking about. I had a cold, and when I get a cold, I can get this kind of berry white thing going on. So I thought it would be cool to do those Instagram videos. I haven't done many of the those Instagram shots lately. The the YouTube keeps me pretty busy. Christian Scott, you got a shout out, I think. Getting a rainbow spinner coming to cool. There are many colors in the spinner rainbow. What portals do you have? I had the stainless steel portal. Loved it, but then I got the titanium portal and decided stainless steel needed to go away. So that got a new home. What's your best spinner? Currently my best spinner, I would say, 
I don't know. I mean, it goes back and forth. That tie try stubby because of those Dama Steel grips looks hot. But, I mean, my Axis Micros, those are, that's my bread and butter. That, the Axis Micro was the first spinner I ever saw, and I was like, wow, I have to have that. THS, I don't sell spinners. I probably won't ever sell spinners. I mean, if I designed one, maybe I would throw it on my big cartel shop. But I, I, I'll never, like, resell China stuff or anything like that. I would only sell one that I designed. And I would preferably want it to be machined in the States just to, you know, that's kind of cool. For I know it brings the price up. China can do good work and do it at a lot cheaper than in the states but I just like I just like my country. Thanks, RK. Spin in the pie. Sweet. Charlie Reed. What's up, buddy? Try mini fidget spinner. What? This guy that's the tri mini you're talking about. You have an access micro coming tie with tungsten. Good, good pick, Jeff. I have that one coming as well. Stainless steel will be coming. I think Alex said it's sh gonna be shipped by next Saturday, so that's really cool. Thanks, MAC Mac. Daniel, the day's going good. Feeling good. Just got back from t-ball practice. My son tore it up. That was awesome. Do a tie maelstrom. I don't know. I had the original maelstrom, and I, I loved it. And then it hurt me, so it had to go away. I'd really like them to chamfer that gear down. That gear, it, it's just sharp, and it just hurts. If they did that, that would be so comfy. Hi, Riley. You're a potato. Hey, I like french fries, so you're in good company. What did you do other than spinner reviews? I used to do wallet reviews. I've done maybe 50, 60 wallet reviews. Like minimalist, unique style wallets. Thanks, Scott C. Thank you, Trip Z. Trip Z. Spinnercraft for the executive. Oh, Spinnercraft's executive. Is that the the uh, C3? Seagreens like Zentri? How old are you? I am 37. Holy crap, that's old. <laughs> hey, Maxwell. I'm always, yeah, I love live streaming, man. This, it's new, yeah, C3 is the executive. Shameless, yeah. I've had a few of those. I like them. I do like them. I've got a bunch more of those C3s coming this away, and guess what? They're going to you guys. Cheapest spinner. My cheapest spinner right now is any one of these that are 999 ABS plastic, six steel balls. Can be yours for the low, low price of nine ninety nine. It's that orange one. This orange one is the this is these are from Spinetic, all these ABS ones here. He calls this one the coupler. And this six shooter deal is called the speed loader. Cool stuff. Hey, JJ. What you unboxing these days, man? It's hard to talk over people. I know, I'm trying to keep up. What's your favorite spinner? Axis Micro. It's the most expensive spinner you have. Tie Try. Stubby. With the Dama Steel Buttons. You guys want to see those Damas? Ooh. Oh. Look at that etch. It's kind of hard to appreciate over this cruddy live stream video, but so hot. So hot. Any tips on starting? Um, 
tips on starting a successful YouTube channel. Uh, try to see what's popular that's just starting out and get on it. Um, luckily for me, that was spinners, and I found spinners to be so incredibly awesome. So it was just good timing. But just keep pumping out content, daily content, whether it's vlogs or if you're doing review style stuff. Just it's going to be hard at first. You're not going to get views. You're not going to get anything. But also get active in other communities like on Facebook that are similar to what you're doing or like Reddit. Drinking some Captain. I wish. I need some energy, so 30 ounces of coffee. Some Captain and Coke does sound pretty good right now, though. Speed was large. That's a whole lot of excess. That gets my attention. It's the large metal on tin on the left. This is the pie spinner in here. A couple tie EDCs below, and these are the eagle eyes back here. Not sure which tin you were talking about. Man, my nose is plugging. <laughs> yes, unpredictable gamer. Here is your unpredictable shout out. Bam. Who won? Christian Rodriguez. Why don't I vlog, Desmond? Um, I'm pretty busy with life and with this channel. If things ease up a little bit. Because in addition to all this, I am a full-time student. So, yeah. Maybe, especially if this channel takes off even more, my channel. Um, I'll start a secondary channel. Do I crack my knuckles off? Yeah, I do. Thanks, Cap. Don't remember if you're in, Thomas. I don't know what you're talking about, what you're in. This giveaway was over. Christian Rodriguez won. Um, there is a current one. That is the Spin Me by Nausts. That is my most current video other than this live stream when it goes live. Spinners around 30 bucks. Check out Spinetic. Thanks, Christian. Spin time on the six ball two sided spinner. Promise you will get me a Ellis Nut. It's all random, buddy. I can't really promise anybody anything because that's not fair to anyone else. But I can wish you the best of luck. Spin time on the six ball two sided spinner. Both of these. Got over five minutes. I didn't even clean it or anything because my cleaning involves acetone. And I figured that probably wouldn't play nice with ABS plastic. So when I do clean it, it will be just straight up 91% ISO. But I have not done that yet. I just tried them right out of the box and I got five minutes. So good deal. Say the winner's last name. Yeah, that's public. If you go to the sign-up sale. You can look at his name, or alias, as it says. Christian Rodriguez. Where do you buy your acetone? I bought my most recent acetone, I think, at Meyer, which is a regional store in my area, Michigan. They're in Ohio and Kentucky and a few other places, but it's kind of like a Walmart. They do groceries, and it's a department store. I'm sure Walmart has it. If you can't find just straight up pure acetone, I mean, you should be able to find it. You do have to be 18 because people, I think people huff it or something like that. Or it's drug related in some way because I had to show my ID to get it. But, yeah, it's with the nail polish remover typically. What's the metal box to the left of your desk? I don't know which one you're talking about. Got lots of boxes here. Let's see. Let's investigate. This is the pie. Pie spin time. You know what? You'd have to check the review. I don't really remember. I want to say it's decent, like, eight minutes, but I never cleaned this one. I don't think. It was straight out of the box. Yes, Bork, it's over. Christian Rodriguez won. Entry number 146, entered two days ago. Show chat. What? What do you mean show chat? Show chat the name? 
I don't think you can see it that far. What I don't like about YouTube's video app is that I can't make any adjustments to the white balance. I can't zoom in. Um, here, let's see. Christian Rodriguez, 146. There you go. Do you doubt me? They have quality and legit. Any websites that have quality you know is legit and worth your money. Oh, what? Like spinners? I always go to Spinetic if you need a budget spinner. If you're looking for something quality, do your research. Join Spinspace or other Facebook communities like real, directly related to the company you're interested in. You can get all that information there. How long has the pie spin for? Maybe eight minutes. I can't remember. If you watch that review, I'm sure I mention it. I usually do. What song is in my videos? My current videos, it's just some royalty-free background music. I don't even know the name of it. It's from bensound.com. You live in Ohio? Nope, I live in Michigan. Flyaway toy. Yeah, Flyaway. I, I have reviewed some of Flyaways. I did the Maelstrom and I did the Mini Falcon stainless steel. Is the G's Tri Mini. What? Is the G's Tri Mini Fidget Spinner. G's? Is this? This is the only Tri Mini that I can remember, and this is the Sinner EDC. Can I send you pictures? Uh, spider, depends on what you're sending pictures of. This is a no D zone, so I don't know what you're going to send me. But, uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Grand Blank. Michigan represent. Grand Blanc. Isn't that way up north? Trade you a Thai stubby for that V2 trade. Jay Anderson, that is not a fair trade at all. Ty Stubby is worth way more than the V2 Triton. It's almost May. It's going to be released, and you'll be able to pick it up for 60 bucks. Ohio State is better. <laughs> well, maybe in the past 20 years, but if you look at the overall, actually, Michigan does have the lead. But I'm a history guy, so that matters. Who are the winners? Spark! Spork, I know you've asked that. It's Christian Rodriguez is the one and only winner. Only had one to give away. 30 minutes from Oakland County. Oh, okay. <laughs> Spork's just messing with me. Tornado warning. Oh, THS, take cover. No stream is this important. Thanks, little T-Rex. I appreciate that. How'd you get the Triton V2? Uh, I kind of became friends with Anthony after I did a couple of reviews. Um, I never really approached them. He just saw my review and he was impressed and wanted me to keep reviewing their stuff, which is just awesome. Good dude, too. Gave me He gave me a big load of these budget spinners and with specific instructions to give them to kids in school with special needs. So I'm working with my wife to do that. We've already given away two of them. Good dude. Anthony from VCEDC. Another company I highly recommend going through. I meant to say Tri Stubby Mini Fidget Spinner. Cool. Tri Stubby. Oh, Tri Stubby. Okay. Gotcha. How much is the orange one? Today and today only, nine ninety nine. No, every day, all day, nine ninety nine. Good budget spinner. Thanks, United Samurai. Is the six ball spinner on the top right corner on Amazon? Um, these are in other places. Could be Amazon. Could be eBay. Could be other vendors. Um, I got mine from Spinetic. 
I often find Spinetic to be the cheapest when it comes down to spinners that several different vendors carry. They and they they donate a lot to charity, so I really I'm down with Spinetic. And I talk to the that owner quite a bit too. In fact, I think we're going to be playing some Oculus Rift tonight. Just got my touch controllers. Going to get my Arizona sunshine on. Tell everyone I have. Tech Review has a giveaway on his or her YouTube channel. I don't know what it is, but it's there. Top five spinners Axis Micro, Stubbies, all the different Stubbies. Um, let's take a look. Portal. Oh, yeah, the Skull Spinner. Oh, we haven't talked about that tonight. Ooh. Oh, yes. Very smooth. People think these points bother you, but you never even feel them. They're curved inward. It's like a solid piece. I never feel a single poke or anything. This thing is hot. It's 350 hot, but it's hot. cheapest spinner you've reviewed on Amazon that kind of changes I mean those prices change I noticed probably the Tie Zest copper that was one of the first Amazon spinners I reviewed try stubber mini try TRL stubby mini there's only one stubby there's your regular stubby and your try stubby but yeah if you're seeing anything else that looks like it, that's a clone and not something that I would review. Did you send the mini Triton? The Triton Mini to you? Yes, I did. Can you see? It's gone. Remind me later. I did take a picture of the tracking label so that you have that info so that you can track it. Giveaway is over. Yep. Captain is correct. If someone sent you a trillium, <laughs> uh, yeah, if someone sent me a trillium, I would dance for a little bit. I'd probably hop on live stream and start singing, and then, yes, I would do a review. Thanks, Biking Police. Winner is Christian Rodriguez, entry 146. Nine bucks, yeah. You get what you pay for in spinners, unfortunately. You gotta watch out for that really cheap stuff on Amazon. Ghost spinner? No. Sounds scary. What spinner is on your computer? What? I don't have one on my computer at the moment. I have the empty Python sitting over on my tower. Which is the best brand? Good show, Jennifer. Hey, hey, Tuscaloosa. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the live stream. Tuscaloosa is a good dude with a sweet review channel. You should all check him out. He gets all the dope spinners while I get all the junk. Just kidding. <laughs> Can you win? David Lou, we currently have a giveaway for the Spin Me Copper. I'm giving away four of those. That review is on the channel, and that giveaway is live for the next two and a half days. Oh, actually, three days. I think it ends Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not getting notified of the vids. I don't know what's up with that, Spork. Review on the six point Shuriken. I've seen that. I'm not sure. I might lose a finger if, if I reviewed that one. Spinners on my computer. Mini blue. There's nothing on my computer. Are you talking about my desk here? 
I don't see a, with the rainbow one. That's a mini Triton. This belongs to Matthew. He just hasn't gotten it yet. On the screen, the one you oh, the one I gave away. Oh, you're talking about the 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 one that was a giveaway here. The winner, Christian Rodriguez, gets to pick blue or black. Christian Rodriguez again. Did you give the spinner out? Yes. Today, tonight's spinner was given out. We will have that Monday, the next giveaway. There will be two because I'm posting another video tonight. So there will actually be two giveaways. The results being shown Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Channel isn't big. Hey, thanks, Jess. I don't know why. I just do my thing and I have fun and I try not to think about too much about how big or how small I am in comparison to other people. I just do my thing. I, I do it for the spinners and for you guys. Who won the giveaway for the Secret Service? Christian Rodriguez. Should I get Am a Life Spinner? I don't know what that is. Maybe somebody else in chat can help you with that. I'm not sure. Do you have Facebook? Cam, yes I do. I talk to lots of people on Messenger. You can reach me at Gary Simons. That's S-I-M-O-N-D-S. -S. Do it all for the spinners. <laughs> Soothing. You know, <laughs> Romeo or uh, Alien, um, someone, when I first started doing these spinner reviews, someone sent me a message and said I should do, oh, I can't even remember what it was called. Something we some weird sensory videos where people whisper and trickle water and <laughs> they really wanted me to do one so hey yeah there you go Jay ASMR okay yeah those the ones that I saw the most popular one when that person mentioned it kind of freaked me out she's whispering and crinkling things and dripping water so <clears throat> uh, yeah not something I'm gonna do. <laughs> It's a little weird. I can understand. I mean, I understand that kind of sensation because, I mean, as people who like to spin, it's it's kind of the same kind of thing. The same kind of. I don't know how to describe it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Same reason I like to bite my nails really short and touch things that catch, like blankets, just weirdo stuff. So I understand it. But, yeah, not for me. Which spinner is best for cheap? Check out Spinetic, Spinetic Spinners, or VCEDC. Those are probably my two favorite budgety type spinner vendors. Hey, Jimbo. The winner, Christian Rodriguez. Fortunately, I can't adjust the white balance, so you can't see it, but it's right there. New button being shipped with these entry. I don't know. What I don't know much about that new button. Thanks, Slater. What's the tin circle container? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is it the spinnergy? Is that what you're talking about? That's a circle. You like jazz. I like all kinds of music except for country. And I like some country. Like... I like Johnny Cash. Do shout outs. Nicholas, I do do sh I do do shout outs. So close to a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand what? Jessica, what do you know that I don't know? Hi Jeff. I don't mind a little pineapple ham pizza. It's not like my favorite, but it's not gross. I eat it. Play country. Born country. <laughs> I like talking to you guys too. 
How much are the diamond grips? What? Diamond grips. I don't know if I can slow down the chat. I'm trying to keep up. But then I grab spinners and I get distracted. What about meat lover sport? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I am a carnivore, that's for sure. I like meat lovers. Most expensive fidget spinner. Most expensive. Tie try with these Dama grips, but I mean these Dama grips add 175 to whatever spinner I put them on. So, yeah, Axis Micro. That's 180 with the tungsten weights. The white box that's flashing. I don't know. I don't see any flashing lights. Do they have in and out in and out burgers? Um they may in the bigger cities. I'm not from a big city. I do like mm, what's the burger place? Oh five guys, five guys, yeah. I hear in and outs a lot like five guys. I love a good greasy burger, so I'm sure I'd like in and out. How many subscribers, Dank? I have I have around 9,400, which is awesome. In January, I had like 1,400. So that's like 8,000. 8,000 over the past four months. So cool. You guys rule. You guys make me happy. What's in the container with the orange spinner on it? Hopefully it's not a head. <gasps> oh, yeah, this is the ET spinner. That's also for Matt. He's a little slow. Thanks, William. The diamond grips on the... Oh, these aren't diamond. Dama Steel. 175 from Modus Works. Solid. I did a review just on these grips. You should check out. So cool. <sighs> Gotta touch it. Whoa. Alright, back to chat here. How do you get one of those? Um, if you're talking about the grips, then good luck. Uh, the owner of Modus Works is going through a move, not taking orders, still has orders to fill. 600 subscribers till 100,000. It's going to be a long time before I get 100,000 subscribers. Maybe. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll hit it big one day. But you know what? I'm cool with where I'm at right now. Any fidget spinners that are under $5. Under $5? Uh, I've heard of a $3 spinner. I don't know. Search Amazon. Like I said, they'll watch Amazon for that really cheap stuff. Usually it's a new new seller, and I wouldn't trust that. Favorite metal spinner under 50 bucks. Let's go with the Spinetic Y. How are your fingernails doing? Terribly. Let's see if we can focus that. Ooh. Hold your vomit, people. I'd like to stop biting them, but it's just like a second nature thing. I end up biting and without even really, really realizing it. Is there a TV show? You all the time. There should be, Spork. Why don't you call NBC? I prefer NBC, but I will settle for ABC. Drumline finals tomorrow. Good luck. Coating them with bitter posh. You know, I've heard of that, Jay. I've never actually done it. I don't, it would have to be pretty bitter. Because, I mean, I like, I like things like vinegary things and weird things. So, I bit mine and got hand, foot, and mouth. Oh, that's rough. 
That's nothing to mess around with. Will you ever start gaming? Like on the channel? I don't know, maybe. I mean, I do a lot of Rift gaming right now, and that's not real, real good for streaming. I mean, what? A picture of me with that thing on my head. Who's the winner, Zach? Zach, the winner is Christian Rodriguez. What's in the box with the eagle? It's a set of grips made from the talons of an eagle. Nope, just kidding. Eagles are a protected species. This is the Alqua, Alquar, Alquar, Eagle Eye Spinner. Nice lady, Shelly, that I've been talking to for a long time. Um, sent this one to me and the Antiqued Copper. Very cool. I like this open design. It leaves you room to, like, possibly add some kind of screw-on weights. If this had, thing had some, I don't know, maybe, like, some tungsten big ball weights or, like, a screw-on tungsten weight, this thing would be killer. Kind of pokes me right here in the beak, but if you go the other way, it's just fine. Yeah, that's the Alcar. That is for sale on Amazon. Let's see your face. 10K, RK. <laughs> R2D2. Yeah, 10K subs. We're going, we're going face. Do I have Snapchat? No, I do not. My five-year-old uses Snapchat to make faces that's about it I do have Twitter and Instagram tried zero food I'd love to try zero food sorry I got a <laughs> Instagram message I mentioned my Instagram and it started blowing up um, I would love to try a compass I tried to buy a tie try compass that didn't end well I don't have enough money to shell out $900 for a spinner um, I would like to try other compasses I'd really like to get one at retail cost but I used to try getting on on their drops and it's just it's impossible for me so you know what I'm blessed with all these spinners and I've got some really nice stuff I don't need to get too upset that I can't get anything zero feud maybe someday I'll be big enough and Rick will want to just send me one. But we're not there yet. <laughs> Triton V2 comes out May, Angelo. That's all I know so far. Triton V2, the 16-minute beast. Chamfers for days. Silent. No joke. This thing is, I'm going to put this by the microphone. This thing is dead silent, just like the Valkyrie. Well, not dead silent. It's like literally sitting on top of my mic right now. You're probably getting a light ring if it's even picking anything up. Yeah. Silent, really long spin. VC really makes, I mean, I've had so many different versions of the Triton that they've sent me. They just keep innovating. I like, I like that. I like when a company listens to feedback and keeps making changes and keeps improving. If you had to guess, how many spinners do you have? Well, when people ask me how many spinners I have, I've got the collection of stuff that I'm keeping, and that's around 25 spinners. I have so many of these spinners that I'm giving away and or selling to help recoup shipping costs. Man, shipping is expensive. And... So I occasionally have to sell some spinners so that I don't have to eat ramen noodles for a week. And my wife doesn't kill me. So yeah. Um, overall, with all these giveaways, I have maybe 60 spinners right now. 60, 70. What is the spinner called that you give away? Today, tonight's spinner was the Secret Service spinner from Spinnercraft. Very nice stealth spinner. Tiny, very comfy. Check out the review. I gave it some love. Where'd you get the Rainbow Mini Triton? That was one of the ones that VC sent me to test out, and we did. Uh, I did a giveaway. 
the black one. I can't remember. There were two that I gave away. I said I was only giving one away, but I was feeling super nice. But yeah, that's just like kind of a kind of a prototype to see who liked what colors and how popular they were. Spinner G, I saw someone just called that out. This one's comfy as well. I heard people say that this thinner end gave, was a hot spot for them, but I don't see anything like that. It's very comfortable. What's my Twitter name? My Twitter name is, I think it's on every video, but I need to do some work as far as my social media. But it's uh, at Speedy Tech SO. So it's like Speedy Tech Solutions, but just SO instead of Solutions. So Speedy Tech SO. Nicholas Reese, yes. I remember everyone. It's the best bearing for long spin times. R188. I mean, I've seen some. I've seen or heard of some smaller ones that aren't the R188 that spin for a really long time. Essentially, the smaller you go with the bearing, that, that the smaller the balls are going to be, so that's less less uh, friction, I guess. And it's just a balance between how much weight can a certain bearing size hold. You know, obviously the more the more mass you have, the more momentum it's going to have, the longer it's going to spin. But if it gets too big, that's too much weight for the bearing to handle, and that's not going to go well. You're going to scorch your bearing. Give away the infinite spin fidget spinner. Well, I don't have the infin infin infinite spin fidget spinner. Otherwise, I would give it away. What are you giving away now? The current giveaway is for the Spin Me Copper Try. On Amazon, I think for like 35 bucks, it's a beast. It's a whole lot of copper. It spins for nine minutes. It's got a cool spin effect. Check out the review it dropped today. What's your Instagram name? I believe it's just... <laughs> well, I don't even know. At uh, Speedy Tech, probably. Or Speedy Tech, I uh, know it's Speedy Tech Solutions, the whole thing. My whole company name, Speedy Tech Solutions. I've got a wildly impressive, <laughs> like, 400 followers. I don't spend enough time on Instagram, but I do look at it a lot, and I do try to post cool pictures that I get. Play the MMO. No, the only MMO I ever played was World of Warcraft. I played that from the day that it launched vanilla until uh, whatever was after the burning crusade <clears throat> I never did the panda that's that's how I like to tell people I never got to panda at fifty dollars like for a good spinner or two good spinners for cheap go to spineticspinners.com or vcedc.com who won that would be mm -mm -mm. Christian Rodriguez. If I <laughs> donate a thousand dollars, yeah, absolutely. You certainly don't need to do that, but any money that comes in this new super chat thing that just goes towards spinners and giveaways and covers shippings for the giveaways, all that good stuff. Best spinner for class. Um, small and quiet according to my wife, would be the best. She is a Spanish teacher. So I'd go with the Secret Service. Why not? That's what we're talking about. It's tiny. Uh, if you didn't want to do that, um, the VCEDC budget spinners are pretty cool. These little guys. Pretty quiet. Not as quiet as the Secret Service, but small. Aluminum. Not bad. Do you know the Triton 2 weighs? Yes, it weighs 3.6 ounces. That's something like a hundred and some grams. I don't know. Really nice. Thank you, Crimson. You guys are nice for hanging around, chatting, and supporting this channel. Hi, Rylan. What's up, soldier? Any current giveaways? Savage, yes. As I said earlier, the Spin Me is the current giveaway. 
after this live stream, I'm going to edit the video for the budget spinners from Spinetic. There's like seven to give away, something like that. I'm going to do that video. That will be live as well. Those will both be drawn in the same live stream at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Thank you, Alejandro. Do you like do you like A the Flash Speedy? I don't know, Spork. That's a heavy question. Heavy butt spin? That kind of sounds dirty. Has he announced the winner? Yes, he has. And he said it was Christian Rodriguez. Congratulations if that's you, Kevin. Do you like A the Flash? Still not getting it. Five, can you answer me? CMF, what'd you say, bud? Sorry, I missed that. Let me scroll back. Best fidget spinner for 80 bucks? 80 bucks. Oh, what can you get for $80? Anything you want. Um, no, 80 bucks, I would probably get the nicest eye fidget you could get that leaves you room to buy the tritium vials from mixglow.com along with the optical glue. Solid beast. I don't talk about enough. Feels like a stubby. Cool tritium vials. Cool light effect with the machined lines. Spins for, I think, maybe six, seven minutes. I'll lock it. Take a mini Triton. Yeah, man, they're cool. Three arm, though. Oh, three arm for 75. You know what? I'd probably go with a boomerang. Another guy that doesn't get enough attention. From 2R Designs. That's Rick Rick Ruggerio. Ruggerio I don't know how to say his last name. Ruggerio, something like that. Super fidgetable. Lots of chamfers. Decent spin time. Great, great buttons. Magnus guy on YouTube ever come out with a spin? <laughs> you know... I used to talk to Magnus quite a bit, and then he's just a he's just a perfectionist, and he likes he likes to design. So I think whatever he decides, it's going to be good. It's going to be expensive, but it's going to be good. The Flash. I mean, man, I can't type today. The Flash. Orange spinner. This orange spinner is the speed loader from spineticspinners.com just subscribe to me and keep up with the videos that explains something yep thanks uh, Rylan I do appreciate when you guys help out in chat that is nice hundred dollar turnian I missed that what let me try and scroll back here waiting on a stubby right now oh dude that first stubby this was my first Titanium stubby. So nice. Then I moved up to the copper. Of course, they've switched buttons. These are actually the stainless... No, these are the titanium portal buttons. I sold the portal, but I kept the portal buttons. And I made that clear during the sale. But I just love the portal buttons. It's in a bad biker review. Bad biker. Well, I did the pirate biker. That was my second review ever. My second spinner. I don't have that anymore, but I did love it. Your Angelo. I thought we were best friends. What's the gray bar spinner on the bottom left? This guy. This just happens to be the Axis Divide prototype that Mr. Alex White, the owner, sent me to try out. Tiny buttons, but man, it just feels good to spin with this this waist and this design. And it's got this cool stepping. It's going to be hot. The Axis Divide is up for pre-order right now, so go to lastroomstanding.com and join the Facebook group where I hang out all the time. Last Room Standing. That's a, another great place for you guys to connect with me. Uh, I, I do a lot of work in that group. I do work in Spinetic Spinners Facebook group. 
I get notifications. Um, so yeah, if we're not doing these live streams, I'd be more than happy to chat and answer questions through that those Facebook groups. Spin Space is a little harder to get into. They do vet the possible entrance, so you have to have a... I, I really don't know much about the vetting, but it's a little harder to get into, and they only let people in once a week. But yeah, the other Facebook groups, um, you can get into pretty easy. How much was the titanium stubby? I bought that straight from Paul. That was... Uh, I want to say like 150 was shipping after the conversion rate. The copper, that was from the secondary market, but I got it at retail price, and it was new in the box the day they got it. Some dude bought it, decided spinners wasn't his thing, and then, you know, a month later, here shows up the stubby, and he sold it right away. So I got really lucky with that copper one. Who's your favorite? Spork, who's my favorite what? Let me scroll back and see. Who's your favorite subscriber? That's an awkward question. I don't think I have a favorite. I mean, you guys are all awesome. Oh, wait, my wife is pointing to her. She is subscribed to my channel. If I don't say my wife, there may be consequences. So, Senora is my favorite sub. Senora Chica Bonita. Mini Triton is 50 in brass. Yes. All the Mini Tritons are 50, I believe. Dagger Dude, I run lots of giveaways, buddy. Stay tuned to the channel. Get in on the giveaways, and I'd love to give you one if random.org decides that you should have it. Wife Reveal. We've decided the Wife Reveal is going to happen at 100,000 subs. So, share my channel. Walk around the street yelling, do whatever you can. Let's get me 100K. Get me my YouTube button. Right? Don't you get a button once you get 100K subs? Or something like that. I know you get the little blue check mark. I'll be there soon. I hope so, Crimson Wolf. That would be awesome. Although I like it small because the chat goes slower. I imagine with 100,000 subs, the chat would just be out of control, and I would need to hire somebody to moderate that. Yeah, Silver, Rylan, that's what I thought. Silver was the first play button. Yeah, Dagger, do it up. I would love that. Spin the Black Vertigo Spinner. Black Vertigo, unfortunately, it had to go away. Shipping costs are a lot for these giveaways, so I have to I have to sell some. It's sad. Wish I could just give everything away and just pay for all the shipping, but that can't happen. Not till I get the real YouTube money rolling. DMX BMX DM BMX. I did announce at nine o'clock that was Christian Rodriguez entry one forty six. He is the winner. There will be two giveaways revealed on Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. One of them is active, the Spin Me Spinner, in my latest video. The other one will be the Spinetic Budget Spinners that I'm going to post after this video. How do I get so many people? To send me spinners. Well, I, I I started putting out quality content and I got noticed and you know I spent time editing and making sure the quality was good, lighting good, and companies liked what I was doing. So I kind of got flooded for a while. I still get tons of Chinese uh, companies wanting me to do clones and I just don't do clones. I wish I did because then I would have so many more things to give away, but I, I don't do clones. Drop a spinner from 100 feet. Yeah, or I could, you know, do some drop tests, throw spinners in big pools of Coca-Cola, whatever, you know. Get those views. <laughs> 
number one overall favorite spinner. We're going to go with the Axis Micro. When are you going to do these? What are you going to do when the Zach, I don't think the spinner, I mean, the spinner trend as it is right now, as wise, widespread as it is, that's certainly going to die down a bit. But what's going to be left is your higher-end EDC stuff, you know, the exotic materials. We talked about this yesterday. It's never going to go away. It's just going to evolve and let, you know, the whole thing with every kid having a spinner in school and that kind of stuff, that's that's what's going to go away. Some kids at Walmart looking for spinners. Really? <laughs> My wife just informed me that at our local Walmart, where she just was, she ran into a bunch of kids who were looking for spinners. <laughs> so, that's funny. Favorite bearing is the R188. It's quiet, smooth. Oh, yeah, you see. Oh, sorry. Uh, what about Lamar? Oh, ML, why are you ignoring me? I'm not ignoring, I'm just talking. Sorry, I missed what you said. Public schools are apparently banning spinners. Yeah, I've heard that some of them are. Because, I mean, that's, that's the problem. The people that really need them and can use them are going to get screwed over by the popularity of spinners and everybody wanting to have them and people screwing around with them, throwing them dropping them, distracting class, which is unfortunate, but I can see them being written into a, you know, specific kids, IEPs, you know, that really, really benefit from them. And that's how it's going to be. Maybe my friend has channel 4k subs. Ask me to shut up. That'd be nice. Thanks. Crimson Firewolf. Can you tell me who that is? And I'll, I'll be glad to give them a shout out as well. Alejandro, your brother. Yeah, a lot of people think fidget spinners are silly, but I like them. The hype market is. Yeah, yeah, spinners are never going away, but like I said, just like with knives, guns, pens, whatever, you know, that EDC crowd, that's a huge crowd. And they're, that crowd loves spinners and loves the really high-end nice quality stuff and that's never going away the five dollar stuff on amazon yeah that's going to disappear should blow torch the clumps you know i spork that's funny i had a an idea to accept a bunch of clones because i've been sent clones without my permission and those are not being given away. I'm going to give one to, I think, a high school to maybe a kid that really needs it. We'll see. But this thing, this thing was sent to me, which is a direct clone of a um, Zero Feud. And I'm not going to show it too long because that would be supporting it. But and it is really nice, but I mean, it's a clone and I don't support clones. And I'm not a, uh, I'm not the kind of guy who's going to be like negative towards you if you want clones or whatever. That's that's for you to decide. Um, yeah, American companies are having work done in China, like Spinetic, but they're doing original designs and they're not selling copies. So I, that, I'm okay with that. You know, if you need to send the manufacturing overseas so that you can get inexpensive spinners for people to buy that's providing a service that's not stealing somebody else's IP so I'm okay with that and like I said if you are fine with clones that's that's on you that you know whatever whatever you need to do that's cool 3d printing suck I don't really care for 3d printing as far as spinners go but you know dope stubby clone yeah I'm sure I mean the clones like I said, I've been sent several clones, and it makes me sad that they spin so nice. But, um, yeah, I just don't 
buy them or agree to review them. But I'm sure they're doing a great job. I mean, the Chinese are some very crafty, talented people. Is it bumped? Yeah, I know. I saw that. I saw the Triton. This is a light little tap, man, and that thing will just go and go and go. Spinetics mini tank spinner or clone? Nope. The mini tank is what I believe this is, the Secret Service. Those are all from a company, I believe, Segreen is behind that one. Segreen does these designs, and they will sell to you know whoever wants to resell. So that's that. I, I understand that can get confusing because you see different companies selling the same exact spinner. That's not a clone. It's just a large manufacturer um, being smart and selling to whoever will buy. Do verse videos. You know, maybe. I've thought about doing that. If I get a lot more uh, higher-end stuff, I definitely would do that. Wait to win us. I hope you do win, Timothy. Spork, yeah, I... Th the video I thought about doing was getting all these clones and then uh, destroying them on video, but that just promotes them in a weird way, gives them the spotlight, and I just tend to not do videos on them, and like what I did here, I just showed it. Um, I just do it quickly to talk about it. C C3. No, the C3 Zentri, that's another example. The C3 is the is Segreen. I think it's Segreen that's doing that. I don't know 100 percent But a Chinese company is doing the C3 and then they sell to companies who brand it with, you know, Zentri or whoever else. What is your top pick for a first spinner? Depends on your budget. Really like to get for my brother. He has all the time. Yeah, I just recently gave away a spinner to my hair stylist. Got a haircut today. And I talk spinners with her because I don't know. What do you do when you're getting your haircut? You just talk about life. But um, <clears throat> she mentioned that someone in her life had autism and she thought a spinner might be good. So I went home and got one and gave it to her. Join the giveaway with a link. Yep, thanks, Roberto. Tried the one drop trillium. I wish the badge. I wish I had a trillium. I hear so many good things about it. I was a little bit late to get the prototype. Uh, the same one F Fabian got. Fabian, sorry. But I don't think it's so popular. I don't think they have a desire for me to review it so it's going to be one of those I'll have to figure out how to get it on my own how is the big baller well it's not the big baller <laughs> this is the coupler from Spinetic and it's great five minute spin time that video goes live later tonight speaking of which we don't have too much more time here but a few more questions Top 10 spinner. Yeah, my old one is outdated. What about Lamar? You're right. I was just thinking this afternoon what's going to be in my top 10, and I want to get that done this week. Spinergy to a friend, yeah. Good on you, Taro. That's an awesome story. Dank Moon Man, what's up? Thanks, Jess. Have a good night, bro. Or, ma'am. I guess Jess is pretty ambiguous. You can make the best spinner name and describe it. That would take some work. Chase, you didn't win. What's up? Christian Rodriguez is the winner. Entry number 146. He entered two days ago. SP 
P-Tech, how am I going to get the ship? Um, well, we have a Facebook chat open, Alien Gaming. Um, so, yeah, I'll just th throw the picture in there. 10 o'clock, yep, I'm in Eastern Standard Dagger. It's 10 for me as well. What about Lamar? I'd love to do a Zero Feud vid. Unfortunately, I can't get my hands on a Zero Feud. Jaeger, this was the result video slash talk about spinners slash talk about life slash drink coffee video. Crimson, I just spent a weekend in Nashville. I like Tennessee. Why is the Zero Feud? I think the Zero Feud, I think people like the design. It's very smooth. I don't know. I'm not allowed to touch one, apparently. I can't get in on a drop. And Mr. Wayne doesn't want to send me one because he's too popular. Hey, that's cool, Crimson. We, we stayed downtown Nashville. We had an awesome burger at the pharmacy, which is like a German pub slash beer garden. That was cool. I think that's that was East Nashville. How much is the Valkyrie? Valkyrie, I believe, is forty nine dollars on Amazon. They are sold out until May. How much oh we did that one. Who won? Javier uh Christian Rodriguez won. Torque bar stubby. Stubby for the win. I don't have a torque bar, so that's easy. I often hear torque bars are overrated, though. Review a mech army. You know, somebody said that before, mech army. I don't have to check into that. Fat boy or torque bar? Hmm. Well, I've had the fat boy, and I liked it. I don't know. I think before I can judge Torque Bar, I'd need to get one. Get my mic freaked out? Hmm. Gotta go. Oh, thanks, Crimson Wolf. Thanks for hanging out. Difference between Mini Tank and Secret Service. Nope. From the same company. A drummer? Hmm. Can't tell you. A tri stubby giveaway? Well, I'd need to get a second tri stubby, and that might be pretty hard. Because that is one of my top, if not the top, with the Access Micro. When is the giveaway? Giveaway is in negative one hour. Giveaway happened for the Secret Service spinner. Christian Rodriguez won. However, the Spin Me giveaway is currently underway. You go sign up for that. Winner will be drawn Monday, along with the winners for the Spinetic Budget Spinners. Right. Hey, Lil Sean. What makes the Axis Micro the favorite of yours? Well, it was one of the first spinners that I saw that I really, really wanted. I like the the look of it. I like the ball weights, tungsten. I like the the curvature and these really and eh, focus isn't gonna work. These really big chamfers. It just feels feels so good. No no pain, no pressure. Spin the axis divide. Why not? Let's do it. 
Hey, Daniel Bauer. Christian Rod, we get Rodriguez one. How do you afford all of these giveaways? Whoa, we're blowing up here. Let me catch up here. How do you afford all these giveaways? Do you do them because you're passionate about them or something else? <laughs> um, well, I don't buy most of the spinners that you see. They are given to me. Companies want me to do giveaways when I do my videos. So they're generous enough. Companies like Spinetic, like VCEDC, and like Nausts with these four spin me's. Companies just send them to me. I do my videos and do the giveaways. You guys get hooked up and they get some promotion, some attention. So, oh yeah, the axis divide, sorry. This is going to be good for a bar spinner. With the tritium vials, they're going to come with tritium, vial, or tritium spaces, not the vials. The spaces here on each side and then one the end of each arm it's gonna look hot so the center is gonna glow and on the outside so it's gonna be like two glow rings where's Malone Malone was here earlier I don't know if he left <laughs> Jake. any extras that I end up with if I'm not giving them away I have to sell in order to pay for all the shipping because the companies that I do the giveaways for they don't offer any kind of shipping help I that's all on me so um, I have to sell some of them that I get in order to cover those shipping costs I mean because I ship out a lot a lot of giveaways I think this month I'm on pace to have shipped out maybe 30 giveaways and those are all I mean that's that's probably like over a hundred bucks just in shipping at at the minimum, not including shipping supplies. Two arm or four arm? I actually prefer three arm. Right in between there. Jackson Christian Rodriguez one. Everything Apple Smith. B C E D C cog, good for class. Yeah, that cog is quiet. Um, you can spin it from the like all different kinds of angles, so you could spin it one hand without really looking at it, no problem. I like it. The Cognito looks nice. Um, I was supposed to get review samples a few different times, but that's never really panned out, so I can't really say much about the Cognito. You're hungry? Eat. William Badger, can you send me one? Well, I run lots of giveaways, William. You're welcome to hop in there and sign up and take your chances. You should get a gear spinner. I've also spoken with Ray, Ray Penna. He actually just did a live video while I was talking. Um, and he's not real interested. He has Alana, who does Fidget Haven Reviews, another YouTube channel. She gets all his prototypes and for the, the gear stuff. So that's cool for her. She's a nice, nice girl. Not many people signed up, only about, yeah. Um, 750 before it ended had signed up for the Secret Service. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate the support. You have the Maelstrom. I used to have the Maelstrom. That went away. How to win the giveaway? Well, this giveaway is just the results video. Um, to enter the other giveaways, you just go to the video in question, go down to the description, and click the sign up sale link. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're subscribed, you get to see all the notifications for the giveaways that I do, so that's always a good idea. Alien Day was good. It was a good day. How many spinners do I own? Currently I have maybe 60 to 70 including all the giveaways. Of those there's only about 25 that I actually keep that are my personal collection. Can I have a try stubby? No. Sorry. It's my favorite. Put them all on the table. 
That's a lot of work, Lamar. We're about to end the stream anyway. It's the best three arm. Well, you can consider this a three arm, and since it's my favorite, we're going to go with the Axis Micro. Thanks, Dank Moon Man. Top of the morning to you, Tomas. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Who won the giveaway? I don't know. Did we have a giveaway in this video? Oh, yeah, it was Christian Rodriguez. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness. I should watch some of your video of it. Hunter Games. You spin, bro? I'll check you out. Let me add you to my list. Uh, okay. To the list. Hunter Games. Watch videos. And done. Another top five. I'm actually going to do a top ten Pollux. I've gotten a lot more spinners. Um, and I think it's going to be hot. Opinion on forearms. I've had a Spinetic X. Uh, oh, wait. No, I do have a Spinetic X, don't I? Right here. The black coated. I got the very first Spinetic X, and I wasn't a big fan because the edges weren't great. But this one, they've done some chamfering, and the coating makes it feel good. I like it. It's going to be in the top ten. I like Philip from Spinnercraft. I was talking to him when he first started his channel. And now he's huge. Good for him. Thanks, Dank Moon. I appreciate it. How were you introduced to spinners? Uh, I've told this story before. I was... I saw a news report about the fidget cube and how it was a record Kickstarter. So I looked it up, looked for a video on YouTube and fidget, of course, cued the spinners. And I saw, I saw them and I, I was intrigued and here we are. So thank you, fidget cube news report. How to find out William Badger. Um, if you know what the spinner is, you can do a Google search on that spinner's name. You can also, if you have, um, what, is it, what is that thing, a micrometer, I think, um, you can measure it, see how, what the diameter is, and that can often tell you what type of bearing it is. I love french fries too. I love them too much. Can I have a fidget? There, that was my fidget for the night. Yeah, Delogical, you're a bit late. Collection vid. Um, we're going to do that video too. I'm also going to do an actual bearing cleaning video instead of my hypothetical cleaning video that I did. Big baller or secret service? Well, depends if you like ABS plastic or you prefer brass. If you like the heavier weight, go with the Secret Service. If you want something more lightweight, baller. Start a spinner channel, but don't have enough money. Um, just start. Just start making videos. Work on your quality. Publish regularly. That's what I did. I slowly built my following, and then it exploded. Are you a baller? No, but I'm a shot caller. My wife did not approve of that lame joke. <laughs> six iron fidget spinner. You know the six shooter from Wes at Aluma FX? I spoke with him before. That thing looks pretty cool. Oh my goodness, guys. We're at 5% on the phone. I gotta go. I appreciate everyone hanging out. I will see you guys on Monday. Have an awesome weekend. Thank you for all the support. Thanks for hanging out and talking to me. Um, guy that does will get you in right before. Who won? The logical Christian Rodriguez won.
going to email him. Again, like I said, thanks for watching. I appreciate everything. Keep on spinning. Hey, Helen. Just in time to say goodnight. Contact. All right, little Sean. I'll be around. I'm going to do some editing of that video. So I can chat while I'm doing that. If any of you guys want to chat on Messenger, I'm down. Oh, sorry to hear that, Delogical. Next stream is Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll probably hop on around 8.30 ahead of time, do some chatting, then do the drawing right away and a little more chatting. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being in the stream. Good luck on the next giveaway. We will talk to you on Monday. Later.